<laughs> Yo, what's up? The Cheney Elemental Gamer back with that Final Fantasy 15 episode Dusk Gate Greatness. So, um, I'm back on Behemoth's trail, but I had to, uh, take a little detour and fuck shit up with my Zway Hander last Let's Play. But, um, once we get up to Behemoth, this is where the, uh, stealth section of, uh, this game shines, which is great. I'm, I'm glad they added stealth into it. Like, there's so much variety. But at the same time, there's something it's a little too go. restrictive. Like, it doesn't let you, uh, feel the consequences of your actions. Like, uh, when you get spotted by the behemoth, it's all automated, hey, now, what happens. Looky, looky. So, um, danger, no entry, we behemoth in area. Guess we follow the trail. So, I'm gonna have to head through here. Our destination is updated, so. I'm gonna have to head over to, uh, Dead Eyes Den. So, um, yeah. Let me just see my weapons really quick. Alright, so, um, you know what? I'm gonna have my initial attack be with the, uh, Partisan. Then I'm gonna have the Avenger for... I really do like the Avenger, but... I don't know how the Wyvern Lance handles. But you know what? I'm gonna try out the blood sword. Just real fast. I'm gonna, I'm just switch it up. I'm gonna have the Zwei hand up from my initial attack. My blood sword. I'm gonna have my partisan for vanquish. I'm gonna have my uh No, you know what? My Avenger is gonna be for counters. And I'm gonna switch my partisan with my Wyvern Lance for now. Like this is as different as this setup gets, so. I'm gonna just see how that plays out. Dead Eyes Den is fraught with danger. Now would be a good time to make camp and prepare. Alright, so... What is this? So I got Tiny Feather Time once one. Alright. So, um, the thing about it is that, um... Dead Eyes Den... This is the area, but there's no camps anywhere. Like... Yeah, there's literally no camps anywhere, so I'm gonna just have to spend off these uh Let's clean them up attack quicker. enemies. Gotcha. So I have my blood sword for attacks, but uh um, like the thing about gotcha. it is that like I don't really like the blood sword. I'm just using it to see how it uh, operates. To make it really feel like a Final gotcha. Fantasy game though, I have to uh equip the what's it called? The Avenger. So yeah, the warp mechanic is okay. Uh, I'm getting a lot of Naruto vibes from this game though, because first of all, the main character Noctis looks like fucking uh, looks like Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto. Not to mention, he has like after you get Rama, he has like this Sharingan shit going on in his eyes. <laughs> Not only really that, but the Naruto, Naruto is bad has the same warp mechanic where he can fucking throw his kunai to an area and warp to it. And this dude knows how to do the same thing, so there's a lot of Naruto feels going on here. And they all dressed in black like the Bleach guys. <laughs> so yeah, man. Square Enix is going for variety this time. So... I'm hoping the final game won't be as restrictive though. Like, if I mess up a stealth section, you know... Just make me lose it, you know? Rather than telling me, oh, I can't do this or that. But, um, I'm gonna run over to where the Dead Eyes Den is. I'm gonna get jumped right here, I think. Alright, so I got another tiny feather. I remember this part being a lot harder, but it's probably because I'm used to combat now. Let me just switch my weapons up. I'm gonna have the Avenger throw my, uh, Ravage attacks. My initial strike is gonna be with the, uh... The blood sword. I mean, the wyvern lance always has to go for the uh, descend. I'm gonna have my counter be with the sway hander. I'm not really gonna use counters a lot because I'm. I've gotten used to the uh, to the um, lock on mechanic, so I'm just hacking and slashing away at enemies, and which I like, you know. I like games where you can just hack and slash away to your heart's content, but at the same time, there has to be some, like, you have to feel some sort of, like, um, so I gotta push forward here. 
This is some really good cinematic shit. I've never seen something like this in open world games. Like this, this reminds me on in like Uncharted and shit. Like when you fucking uh, when you're doing this type of shit. Hold up. Oh, look at that behemoth, dude. That shit looks. This is the part I was talking about. His lips are moving, but there's no words. Right here, that eye, the name says it all. It would have been cool if he was whispering, but he ain't saying shit. Anyways, guys, until next, let's play.